Good morning. My name is Carlos Pinto, and I'm, I will be presenting Smart Thoughts. And uh, Smart Thoughts is basically a platform that ISIS has adopted. But it was um, it was a proposal. It was first developed by Ilvo, the the Belgian Institute, and um, it was a proposal that uh, there was another software, but the other software was collapsing, and uh, and there are events of. Uh, of maturity and and uh, age reading, and it was proposed. Uh, uh, Ilvo had this software, and he pro they proposed they open source the software, and ISIS would uh, adopt it. And then I asked uh, our colleague, "What exactly do we mean when we we passed a software just to read dots and to annotate the images to a, a platform?" Like it is now, and then the definition of the of one of, of my colleagues was that smart thoughts is a platform for quality assurance of biological parameters has input for stock assessment. I, it took me a while to understand this, huh? and uh, and basically there are some parameters, and this we are trying to maximize the quality of what is called the stock assessment, huh? and uh, I would first answer two questions and then I will explain the system. Everyone knows what's autolites. I can see, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> okay, some of you. And then why we, do we need an application to mark the dots? Huh? So first, the autolites are a structure that are behind the ear of the fish, and like the, the rings in the trees, and I, th I guess everyone more or less knows that example. If you cut the tree, then you can cut the rings, and know how many, and it's the same since the fish is growing, and in winter, in summer, the growth is different, so they can take that structure that's called an autolite and measure what is the age of the fish. I have tried it, but I haven't yet succeeded. And then the second question, why do we need an application to mark dots? And I'll <coughs> ask you an exercise. Just to look at those squares and to see if you can identify which one of the squares has more dots and what's the difference between them. Is it easy? You can try to count them. Right? And now. <laughs> Better? What about now? <laughs> and this is basically the principle. And as you'll see, the, the difference between them was always the same. 10, 20, 50, 40, I don't know if you guessed. And then, so it was always the same difference. But it's, the, it's what it's called. Um, the wave fetcher law, that the bigger it is the, the impulse, the stimulus, then the less it, you will have the, the precession difference between them. And since there are fish that can achieve, for example, 60 years old, it can become a bit tricky. And now we are jumping to assessment. And this was a scandal that happened in, uh, in the UK, where you can see all those brands were buying uh, cow meat. But what happened is that they made some analysis and discovered it wasn't cow meat. It was horse. <laughs> and then they tried to trace down, trace back the sources of that meat. And after going off through all this scheme, through all these countries, they discovered where were the horse coming from. And that's exactly what this software is trying to avoid, that you know where your data is coming from. Huh? We should. So, ISIS gives a stock assessment advice, and what we are trying to achieve here is that uh, that advice is transparent and repro pre reproducible. And that's why we want to promote these events of uh, autolites and uh, maturity, so we know where our data is coming for, from. And if these are transparent, then it will help a lot. Coming back to smart thoughts. So, like I said, Smart Thoughts started from the module that Ilvo has developed as a software, and they they were very generous, and they said we will open source this software. And first, the software was like always connected to a database where we had an idea. The first one is we will develop the web interface. In that web interface, there are one thing called country coordinators, and those country coordinators can. Um, can create events 
that are normally called workshop or exchanges, and they can decide, the country coordinators decide for their country who are the readers, the participants. So they can do all this in, the, in this module of the web interface. And then, since Ilvo had it connected with the database, we decouplate that module and connect it to what's called the web API. And this web API basically implements the rules of who can see the annotations, who can annotate, and who can who is organizing. And it's developed in C Sharp and it's open source. Eh? And uh, it was developed collaborative between ICES and ILVO. And so this is the way that uh, the new software will connect to the database. And finally, the software developed by ILVO. And they, like I said, they have, um, they were, they said they would open source the application. It's developed in web presentation feature. And uh, it, it, they were quite nice because they, there was some readers that had the trouble to install the software. So they, 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 it was developed also a portable version of that software. And so the software connects to the web API and the web API connects to the database and the web interface, basically those events are promoted. And finally, the, the last module, it's the reporting. Once everything is done, then the report is, is an R script that's also in GitHub. It was developed between, uh, it was DTU and now IC is maintaining that software, but it's accessible to the community so they can uh, suggest changes to the R code and that, and that is run when the, the events are closed and all the data is extracted to this report. The future. We expect to, to extend this software to more type of events. Like I said, the maturity event, we haven't done one, uh, no event yet. It's the first is planned to January of next year. A governance group has been established to, to manage this uh, smart thoughts platform and then we are thinking about trying to apply some machine learning techniques especially to shape analysis of the autolytes because then you can define if the fish is from one stock or is from another one if it was accurate and uh, we had just the idea to also try to apply to other images like eggs or plankton i hope i have been clear you you can try it by the way we just implemented it, I, I managed to implement it before yesterday, that we have implemented guest tokens. So if, the, if an event is public, anyone can download the software, can download the key, a guest key, and can go and see the public events. And try to annotate. If you, if you are an age reader, yeah, or want to be an age reader, or want to try to be an age reader. Thanks, any questions?